name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, and Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your eye, if your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, this weekend we'll be celebrating the feast of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord in the sacrament of his precious Eucharist that he gives himself to us. How many of us know how to behold that as a sign of God? Uh, you heard me speak this week about Elijah, and Elijah is full of a lot of references of what was expected of God when God was present in a moment or in a situation, signs that would happen. We talk about the food of plenty that would be given, and today we hear this great speed that was blessed with him. Those are things that back then they would be able to see and say, oh, and that man, and that man, was, there was God. Why? Because he ran fast, and he threw a good party, and nobody went hungry for days. These are the things that we come to understand as symbols that inform our piety, inform our life of prayer. Within the Catholic Church, we understand that there is the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus and sacrament made present to us. Now, I know a lot of Eucharistic chapels have been closed down for exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, but as I have to correct people, adoration has not been canceled. Why is that? Because my brothers and sisters, simply because of this. As much as Jesus is present in the Blessed Sacrament and you can come into the churches and pray with him behind the tabernacle, he is present in you. There is no stronger symbol of Jesus walking among us and the baptized that are out in the world. And if you do not hold yourself up to that same dignity that Jesus is present within your life, that you are a walking monstrance, or you cannot see it in your brothers and sisters, there is something lacking. And there is no way that you can recognize Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament if you cannot tolerate your beloved brothers and sisters. Let me just do you a favor. Don't waste your time going to your adoration if you cannot acknowledge the Christ within all of us. Este fin de semana sabremos que celebramos la fiesta de Corpus Christi del sacramentado entre nosotros Jesucristo. Y lo que se da en símbolo es algo bien poderoso porque para el católico sabemos que no nomás es símbolo, sino que es hecho, es verdad. Es Cristo en pan y vino, hecho para nosotros. Y recientemente, por todas las condiciones que tenemos, se nos ha privado de las capillitas de perpetua de oración, exposición. Corrección que yo he tenido que hacer a menudo es que la oración no está cancelada. Su Cristo está presente todavía en el Sagrario. Vengan a adorar al Señor aquí si quieren. Pero déjenme hacer hacerla más fácil para ustedes. No hay versión de Cristo sacramentado más poderoso que en la persona bautizada. Cristo está presente en ustedes, en las otras personas, en su iglesia. ¿Qué importa de venir 
adorar a Jesucristo en un templo si no lo podemos adorar en nosotros mismos, en nuestro prójimo. Mis hijos, no gasten su tiempo en adoración si no pueden amar a su prójimo, porque en allí, en allí está la presencia de Cristo. Amén. Jesus Christ, you give yourself in sacrament and deed. Here are petitions so we can go forth in sacrament. For the church, holding the treasure of grace in poor earthen vessels, that God's surpassing power may be made manifest in her frailty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the prophets of life, justice, and peace in the, our world, that they may speak the truth in love, and that those in a position of power and influence may listen to their witness. We pray to the Lord. For all who are entangled in the snares of adultery, that they may be given the light of earth of truth and the strength of grace to break out of their chains. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who are carrying the dying of Jesus in their lives, through sickness, grief, or any affliction, may also know the life of Jesus through peace and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For our dear departed ones, that God who has raised up the Lord Jesus will raise them up also with him and place them at his side in his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For the end of abortion in our world, let us pray to the Lord. For the end of this coronavirus in our world, let us pray to the Lord. For all those intentions you carry in the silence of your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, you make yourself known to us in your sacraments. Allow us to go forth and hear our petitions, and as we become sacraments to this great world. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and become for us our spirit to drink. Blessed be God for you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God Almighty Father, for all you do in this world, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, 
Yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit, you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discard is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled with the Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, who command and fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. But when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. It says, you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with their brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom and our power and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Christ that lived within you give you peace. And your spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ.
God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The mighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thank you. Thank you.